Okay, it hurts to breathe. <laughs> Hi, I'm Ryan Spear. I'm the Dean of Admission here at Houghton College. And you might already know what we're about to do if you're at all familiar with a certain YouTube channel where they eat hot wings. And since we're here in Western New York, Houghton College is only about an hour from Buffalo. Why not come to the home of the Buffalo Wing and give it a shot? So I'm here with Jesse Carter. Uh, Jesse, tell us a little bit about yourself. My name is Jesse Carter. I am a senior enrollment advisor here at Houghton College. So I help students through the admissions process and I'm looking forward to interviewing you and devouring these hot wings. All right, Jesse was the chef today. He graciously made these wings. We're gonna dive in. All the sauces, except for our last one, are locally sourced. They're from New York State establishments, from Dinosaur Barbecue, Duff's Wings, and Anchor Bar. And we also have Frank's Red Hot, which is also a New York staple. The Scoville units range from 2,000 all the way up to 480,000. So hopefully this is a chance for you to be entertained, to learn a little bit about Houghton College in the mix. All right. So our first wing is Frank's Red Hot Extra Hot. And this one I think is around 2,000 Scoville units. So let's go. All right. We cheers the wings, but we can't. Hmm. All right. So when students come to visit Houghton or when we're meeting them on the road or meeting them virtually, Sometimes they're not really sure what questions they should be asking. That might be their first visit, or maybe they're just really not familiar. They might be nervous. What are some questions that prospective students should be asking? So yeah, that's a great question. I mean, a lot of times when people visit a college, they're looking at a lot of the what questions, like what majors or programs are offered. And that's important. You want to know if you're going to major in uh, something. You want to know the school you're going to has that. You might want to know, like, where's the school located? What's the food like? I mean, trust me, as a 17-year-old, I wanted to know what the food was like. These are, these are good questions, but you'll discover that they're probably not the most important questions. So we always tell the students, ask a lot of why questions. Ask things like, you know, what's the mission of this college? You know, why do students choose to come here? Ask a little bit about outcomes, not just about, like, do students get jobs, but more about, like, what, what do you hope your graduates are in the world doing and making a difference? You'll get more of that rich history and story and that's really going to help you decide if that school fits with what you're looking for. So don't just focus on the what questions. You know, does the campus look nice? Do I feel comfortable? Those are, those are important questions. But ask that second layer of questions. The, the why, the how, helps you get to know the history and the story of a place. And especially if you get, get to ask current students, why did you come to this place? That would probably be the single most important question. Just ask a current student, why did you choose to come here? And you'll get a good answer. We'll move on to the second one, which is Duff's Famous Wings, their hot sauce. And I think this one... I tried finding the Scoville units, but I think it's around 50,000. I guess we'll be corrected in the comments, but I think it's around 50,000 Scoville units, so let's have at it. Here we go. All right. I like that one. That's good. It's tasty. Good flavor. All right. Let's talk about location. So a lot of people, when they're driving in, they realize, okay, Houghton's in a more isolated rural location. Why would you say students should come to a rural campus? and what are some things to do around here? That's a great question. Usually the first thing people notice about Houghton when they're coming to our residential campus, I mean, we also have online programs. We do have a site in Buffalo and Utica, and we do have graduate programs as well. For those who want to come to the residential campus here in Houghton, New York, it's a beautiful natural setting. Uh, Letra State Park, a nationally ranked state park, is right up the road. So I always just tell people, for some students, this is exactly what they want, right? They're like, oh, I love the beautiful natural setting. I'm an outdoors person, or I just love the opportunity Houghton will give me to be in this, this environment. But I always advise students, you gotta figure out if that's a good fit for you. And back to my first answer, you can always have students ask questions of current students. Some people tend to think, oh, if I wanna go somewhere to have fun, I need to go to a college that's near a big city or something like that. And there are definitely advantages to that. But students soon realize that like life is here on campus, that the things they wanna do are right here. They can get plugged in, get involved. It's best to visit, I mean, be on campus, ask students what it's like to be here and really feel out for yourself if it's, if it's something that you would really enjoy, grow into, or if you might want to think about other options. It's awesome. Yeah, one of my favorite things was the lasting relationships that I developed as a student here at Houghton, so glad you hit on that a little bit. All right, how you feeling? I like that. That one was good. I, I feel like the Franks got me into it, and I feel like, you know, I'm doing okay. Yeah, it was a nice little jump. Yeah. Nice little jump. From Although I'm feeling it like the back of my head is where I start to feel some tingles, you know? Oh, okay. So. All right, so... We'll move on to the third one, which is Anchor Bar, a buffalo staple. And this is their hotter sauce. We'll see how this one goes. All right, here we go. Let's do it. All 
I feel like that one's going to sneak up on us. Yeah, it's sneaky. It was kind of sweet at the start, but that seems dangerous. What is the most memorable part of the campus tour? When a student comes, one of the things that they will do is tour campus, or they'll be able to tour campus virtually. What would you say is the most memorable aspect of the tour? Yeah, and again, if you're coming to our residential campus here in Houghton, New York, it's a beautiful location. All of our campus tour guides are current students. Sometimes one of us will lead a campus tour, but we really want you to hear from a student who's chosen to come here and what their experience is like. And so usually the first most impressionable thing is to hear about Houghton from someone who chose to come here, uh, why they chose to come here, what, what's impactful about Houghton to them, etc. But usually there are some stops on the way that are uh, pretty memorable. So we have an amazing chapel. On the side of that chapel, there's a mural that does the whole story of creation from beginning and includes Houghton in that story. And people usually really resonate with that because this helps them understand that what God is doing here at Houghton, they're a part of that story as well. We're a part of that larger movement. Uh, so it's great for them to understand it's not just about coming to a college to get a you know, good education. It's about being a part of a, a bigger story, a larger narrative. And then uh, obviously we're here in the Carapagula Center that usually opens up some uh, pretty, uh, their eyes open up pretty big. It's a beautiful, amazing facility. Uh, whether or not you're a student athlete, it's a great place to come, stay fit, have a chance to be indoors. Uh, and enjoy the facilities here. And then there's the, the eagle statue, and I'll, that'll be a little bit of a teaser. It's, it's, it's kind of a poignant story about the memorable uh, way that Houghton makes an impression on people for the rest of their lives. Uh, they, one thing that does stand out is architecturally, all of our buildings are made from Creekstone. And uh, that might be like, okay, so what? Well, there's two really cool stories about that as well. So there's my second teaser. If you wanna know why it matters, why it's important that our buildings are made of Creekstone, that's another cool story. Students will have to schedule a visit and find out. How you feeling? It did sneak up. I mean, my lips are tingling now. Yeah. It's not, it did. It had. It was sneaky. You know, at first I was like, I can do this, and then slowly rode. Yeah, definitely feeling it in the corners. Yeah, yeah. On to the next one. Okay, let's do this. Cool. So this is Dinosaur Barbecue's Devil's Duel. Dinosaur Barbecue is. I think it originally started in Syracuse, and then they have some locations in Buffalo and Rochester, and maybe elsewhere. Yeah, I, I kind of expect this to kick it up quite a bit. Yeah. There we go. It's tasty. I think that might be a false sense of comfort. Here comes that heat. I'm feeling it now. Mm -hmm. That was a significant change in... Uh... <laughs> yep. One thing that I get asked a lot, and you probably get asked a lot too, and something that families are pretty concerned about, is the price of college. So when a student receives their financial aid award letter and they're shown their scholarships that they might have received, or any grants or any aid that they're eligible for, one of the first things that they'll ask is, how do I pay for this remaining balance? What tips do you have? That's a great question. If I'm sweating, it's not because I'm nervous about answering this question. <clears throat> the, the heat level's starting to build up a little bit. So yeah, it's a great question. College is an investment. You know, we don't, we don't hide that. It's something that, of course, we know families are needing to make a careful decision about. So our first, uh, first goal is to make sure that we are clear and transparent with the cost of attendance so that families know uh, what is being asked of them. And of course, if we're asking them to, to invest in Houghton College, we want to ensure that the experience they have here is, is of a high quality. So first of all, I always just remind people that we're really proud of Houghton and the work that we do here because we see that the kind of things our graduates are doing, the impact that they're having, uh, their job placement rates, uh, the kind of graduate schools they're going into, it, it's really, really uh, amazing. And I think that just attests to the value of the experience here. And, and we've been fortunate to be ranked in a lot of external sites as best value, uh, high quality, there's places you can see to kind of fact check me on this. So I always tell people, remember, like it's kind of a, the old adage, you get what you pay for, the idea that we understand it's an investment, but we believe that the investment is worth it. So Houghton made historic news uh, recently, depending on when you're watching, uh, people are watching this clip, uh, we cut tuition by 53%. So we're now the lowest priced Christian college in the nation. And that's our commitment to transparency. That's our commitment to making sure people know upfront a Houghton education is a really valuable education. So our tuition really can't be beat by, by any other uh, college like Houghton in the nation. We're really proud of that. We want to make Houghton accessible to as many families as possible. Uh, but after financial aid, after a student has applied, encourage them to really think about it as a family. Uh, we have a great financial aid office that's here to talk with families, to come up with a plan that will work for them. And really discovering uh, with each family, you know, what, what are your resources, uh, what will fit well with you, whether it's a mixture of uh, some reasonable amount of student loans with some other options. And we just want to get to know each student and family individually and work out a plan that'll, that'll work for them. So if the family is wondering, like, will this work? Can we make this work at Houghton? We always say, let's start the conversation. Uh, apply for admission, uh, submit your financial aid application, and we'll uh, love the opportunity to show each family what it would uh, 
what would it cost for them to attend Houghton? Cool. So this one is the final sauce. It's Tropical Pepper Company, their ghost pepper sauce. This one is not from New York. To pay homage to who we got this inspiration from, Hot Ones, I'm going to add a little bit extra onto mine. You can do it if you want. All right, I can't say no, I mean. All right, so I'll put about that much. And just so you know, this one is the one that's 480,000 Scoville units. So All right. a nice little jump, so there we go. Yep. <clears throat> Glad I don't gotta answer the question. Oh my goodness. Okay. Wow. How you feel? That's not that's not messing around. Yeah. Whew. It's like uh you ever get too close to a campfire and you like inhale? Yeah. And you get a lot of smoke and a lot oh, of yeah. heat. It's like that. But so last question. Ooh. Just gotta get through this last one, then we can hurrah with some milk and some pineapple juice and some hot. I'm getting emotional. I'm looking already excited by answering this question. I'm getting so emotional about it. All right, so it's a bit of a challenge. You have to recite Houghton College's mission statement <laughs> and also explain why the mission statement is so important to Houghton and so important to us in the admissions office. Have at it. Okay, it hurts to breathe. <laughs> okay, ooh. So believe it or not, I have the mission statement memorized but I've never had to do it this way before. So mission statements matter because whew, all colleges might have residence halls, food, professors. <laughs> all of that's gonna be the same. Oh my goodness. I'm crying here. <laughs> <laughs> what makes each school different is their mission statement, which is basically like, why do they exist? Like why that school versus any other school on the planet? So I would actually tell you, going back to the first question, what questions should you ask? That you should ask, what's this school's mission statement? Because you're gonna learn a lot about why that school exists, like what the purpose of the school is. So without further ado, Houghton College provides an academically challenging, Christ-centered education in the liberal arts and sciences to students from diverse traditions and economic backgrounds and equips them to lead and labor as scholar servants in a changing world. There it is. Well done, well done. Oh we my made goodness. it through. We both made it through. Let's uh, raise a glass to one another. That is no joke. Cheers. That we last week. This. Whew. All right, folks, there we have it. We went through the gauntlet of wings. We answered the questions. And now, if you do have any further questions you would like to ask us, please get in contact. We'll have some information in the description below where you can get in touch with us. Ryan, thank you so much for being a great sport. And if you like this, comment below and let us know if you'd like to see more videos like this one. Maybe we'll interview some coaches, maybe we'll interview some professors, the president of the college, who knows? Let us know. If we missed any sauces, you say you've got to include this sauce, we'd like to know below. And uh, yeah, thanks for uh, playing along. That was that last one. It's not messing around. Could have been hotter. Whew.